Hello and welcome to the Virtual Learning Centre at the Jeff Smith International Business Academy. This video is about body shop management and the poll that you entered into on LinkedIn. The question was asking how many estimates do you need to do to pretty much guarantee how many repair units you want in a given period. Let's call it a month. Let's make it easy. So here's the crux of the question. The question was put there, I think it's 347. If you want 347 repair orders, how many estimates do you have to do? Here are the four options that were given. Well, we can't read that too well here, so let's make it a little bit bigger for you. Here we go, here's the crux of the question. And here's what happened on the LinkedIn poll. 17%, 19%. So it's pretty fragmented. And to be honest, it's quite unusual to have such a wide fragmentation. Now, what does this mean? You can draw your own conclusions. But to answer this question, we have to understand the body shop estimate conversion ratio. In other words, if we do 100 estimates, how many of those estimates do you expect to convert into repair orders in that given time? That's the crux of this question. It's phenomenally powerful and useful for your budgeting and business planning. So let's take a closer look at it. So here we have estimate conversion ratio. So it's asking, for instance, if you do 100 estimates, how many would you reasonably expect to convert into jobs? So it's the number of repair units divided by the number of estimates. Now you see I've put in brackets just here, excluding total loss. Why? First of all, we need to understand the limitations of LinkedIn. The question on the poll is limited to 140 characters. And that is exactly 140 characters. So I was quite limited on what I could put here. So for your budgeting and business planning, you would want to include the total number of estimates, including those that get filtered out for total loss. If you want to know about that, that's a different video in the series. So I wanted to simplify it for this LinkedIn poll. So I've taken out the total loss. So let's say you've done a number of estimates, you take away those that are total losses and you're left with what's left. Of those, how many would you reasonably expect? The baseline here is taken from the KPI book, third edition, greater than 75%. What does that mean? That means if you've given 100 estimates, excluding your total losses, you would expect more than, or at least, should I say, 75 of those estimates to be converted into business. So you do 100 estimates, you get 75 jobs at least. Now, what you need to think about here, but because your results might be different to that, the point here is, the key performance indicator doesn't move. That's there for you to question your own performance. It's not a target to be hit, it's there to force a question. So if you're at 50% conversion, you might wanna think what's happening there. If you're at 95% conversion, you might also want to think what's happening there. So this whole thing about bench lines and base marks, <laughs> or should I say baselines and benchmarks, <laughs> it's about forcing a question. They're not international targets or anything to be hit like that. So in this point then, the estimate conversion ratio is saying, no matter what you want, you should be converting at least 75%. So let's move on now and answer the question. A body shop needs 347 units. So there we are, that's where it is in the question, and we should be converting 75% of the estimates we have done. So how many estimates do you need to do in order to be left with 347 jobs? That's the crux of the question. So let's have a look at this then. So 347 divided by 75%, so get your calculator out, 347 divided by 75% and the answer you'll come up with is 462.66. That's the number of estimates you need to do to get to 347 jobs 
at a 75% closing ratio. So 462.66, that's what it says here. So that's 463, right? So let's go back to the question on LinkedIn. There we go. The answer is C, 463. If you got it right, congratulations. If you didn't, you might want to consider which kind of formula you used to get to that answer. For budgeting and business planning, this is really crucial information and it's getting you to question the root cause of your performance. Where are you winning? Where are you losing? That's the most important thing. Now, if you enjoyed this video, if you want some more information like this, make sure you answer the polls on LinkedIn. I'll keep on sending them to you. Also, you might want to join the Jeff Smith International Business Academy. This is a program I'm launching in early 2023. So you'll be getting qualifications specific to your job role. Yes, body shop manager. So certificate, diploma and masters for internationally recognized. They're not university degrees. They're not uh, generalized academic studies. They are personalized qualifications bespoke to the job role. This is specifically for body shop manager in the automotive industry. So if you'd like to know more, that's wonderful. If you'd like to come and work with me on a masterclass, I have a masterclass running on the 13th and 14th of February. This particular one is running in Dubai. If you want to know more, you want to find out how much it is, you want all the information, just send me an email. There it is at Jeff hyphens, Jeff at Jeff hyphensmith.com. It'd be absolutely great to hear from you. So here we are, we're back in the studio. This is where most of our virtual learning takes place. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please take more uh, participation in the polls that come in the future and you'll get more videos like this. Thank you for taking part.